job, Zena. I loved all your dynamics. Really nice job. And now we're going to move on to Eli. So Eli Oliver is a fifth grader from Wayland, and he goes to the Loker Elementary School. Besides playing the clarinet, Eli loves playing the guitar and Minecraft. He likes football and tennis, too. He says the things he's most tired of about the pandemic is wearing a mask. I'm right there with you, Eli, on that one. So Eli tonight is going to play Waltz from The Merry Widow by Franz Lahar. So Eli, whenever you're ready, go ahead. Nice job. Next up, we have Dylan Lane. Dylan's a fifth grader from Wayland, and he goes to the Veritas Christian Academy. Besides playing the saxophone, he loves ski racing. I'm right there with that. that. Ice skating, woodworking, and drawing. He says the thing he's most tired about the pandemic is wearing a mask and having stuff canceled, like his school field trip to New York. Yeah, that's kind of tough. Tonight, Dylan's going to play Oral Lee by George Poulton. So Dylan, whenever you're ready, take it away.
Thank you, Dylan. And next, we have Simon Nikitenko, who's a sixth grader from Wayland, and he goes to the Wayland Middle School. Besides playing the saxophone, he loves playing video games and hugging his dogs. He says the thing he's most tired of about the pandemic is not being able to go to places and happen to wear a mask at school. Simon's playing two pieces for us today. The first one he's going to be playing is Minuet by Johann Sebastian Bach, and then he's going to be playing Let It Snow by Jewel Stern. I think you must have been playing that last week with all this snow that came, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Simon, whenever you're ready, we're ready. Thank you. 
Nice job. And next up we have Maggie Buffum, who's a seventh grader, and she's at the Whalen Middle School. And besides playing the clarinet, she loves to play basketball and volleyball, hanging out with her friends, and doing stuff with her family. She says the thing she's most tired about the pandemic is not being able to see her friends inside at their houses. Tonight, Maggie's going to be playing Waltz by Johannes Brahms. So Maggie, whenever you're ready. Maggie. That was lovely. Oops, I've lost Tara. Tara. And now we and have, have Tara Baru, who's a fifth grader, grader, and she's from, she's France, from France, but she's living, she's living, living right, right now. Right now. She goes to the house of the home elementary school. school. Are you guys getting your headphones in? Let's see if that helps. That helps. So, so, besides playing the clarinet, Tara loves learning about horses, horses, riding them, riding them, and she loves, and she to, loves read. to read. She says the she thing says she's tired of most about the pandemic is putting her, is putting her mask, mask on and off. On and off. So tonight she's playing three moments from French Suite by Bach, by Bach, and her dad's going to be accompanying her. her. Tara, whenever Tara, you're ready. ready.
the okay, we started the first second mm -hmm. uh, at the first section. No, no, for the second section. Now we have Mia. Mia Retta is a ninth grader at the Wayland High School. Besides playing the clarinet, she loves to read stuff about current events, watch YouTube commentary, and listen to music. She says the thing she is most tired about the pandemic is anti-vaxxers believing conspiracy theories and just the fact that vaccines are still being politicized. Mia is going to play a piece for you that she performed uh, earlier uh, by recording for a, an audition for the Massachusetts of the Eastern Junior District auditions. And I'm very proud to say that Mia was accepted into the Junior District Festival. And I have to say that making a recording is so much harder than doing a live audition. Um, I think the expectation has to be perfect and the kids do it over and over and over again. Um, and it's really tough. And so very, very proud and hearty congratulations to Mia. And she's now going to share that piece um, with us. And it's Starfall by George Belden. So Mia, whenever you're ready, one last performance of Starfall. And I promise you're done with this piece. <laughs> Thank 
now we have Evan Zhang, who's an 11th grader from Concord, and he's a junior at Milton Academy. Now, Evan, I didn't see you this week, so you're going to have to uh, answer those questions that I asked the other kids. Okay. Besides playing your clarinet, what else do you love? Uh, listening to music and probably eating. That sounds like a teenage boy answer. <laughs> and what is it that you were tired most of about the pandemic? Probably frontline workers having to sacrifice themselves. And that, my friend, is a very grown up answer. Um, Evan also was involved in just so um, for those of you for younger students. So when you get to seventh grade, there's something called the junior district auditions. And it's for seventh, eighth and ninth graders. But then when you're in high school, ninth, 10th, 11th or 12th graders can do the senior district auditions. And Evan um, did that and was successful. And he was so successful that then he got asked to audition for the Allstate Festival, uh, which is all five districts in Massachusetts. And uh, the piece you're about to hear is what was part of his audition. And I'm happy to report that that audition was successful. And now he'll be part of the uh, Allstate Festival, which is happening in March. I don't know. Are you guys playing at Symphony Hall? Do we know where your actual performance is going to be at? Uh, I don't know. They, I don't think they've emailed yet. So. Normally during non-COVID times, uh, they'd be performing in Symphony Hall, but things are a little bit strange. I know with the Boston mask mandate, they've moved the festival to Marlboro. So I'm assuming, I don't know if the performance will be there as well, but uh, nonetheless, very exciting. We live in a very competitive area. Uh, and so for these kids to be successful at their auditions is really quite something. So he's gonna be playing the first movement of uh, Johannes Brahms' uh, first sonata for clarinet. And I understand you're gonna be playing with a recorded accompaniment? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Which is also a challenge. So good for you and whenever you're ready. Also, I'm wondering, is was Starfall like the the junior district piece like a long time ago? That I, sounds okay. familiar to it. Doesn't yes, it was a junior district piece at one point. Okay, okay. it has been before. Yes. <laughs>
Apple. I'm listening. Sorry. <laughs> Next, we have Thomas Craven, who's an 11th grader. Um, he's at the Wayland High School. And besides playing the clarinet, he loves running, cross country skiing, and watching football. And he's most tired of not being able to sit with his friends at lunch at school. Um, Thomas also auditioned for the senior district audition and was successful. And have they given a makeup date yet for the festival? Unfortunately, it was supposed to be in January and they postponed it because of COVID, but. They said it's in March. I'm not sure if there's an exact date, but yeah, that's what they're planning. So very exciting uh, to have another participant in the uh, Senior District Festival. Um, Tom has actually made it a lovely recording for us. So give me a moment and I'm gonna share the screen. He's gonna be playing for us um, the first sonata, uh, uh, first movement of sonata by Camille Saint-Saëns.
Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Sebastian, for playing. Bye. And to all the parents and grandparents who come, that was great. Thank you.